Now, can you tell me what possesses a young man of 20 years of age to attack his father with a knife because his father, mid-50s, calls him to the dinner table and uh, the young 20-year-old boy decides to attack his dad because he wants to, to still play his game on the computer. I think that um, we're actually heading down the wrong road in relation to social media and games with young people. I personally have got a problem at the moment where the kids are actually spending too much time on the, their games and social media, and I think that it's actually dumbing them down. I had a, an experience, uh, experience last two weeks ago. I went to a school uh, and spoke to one of the teachers about one of my children, and uh, they informed me that um, um, the kids are allowed to use their mobile phone in the classroom to listen to music when they are disruptive. Now, this is what's going on in the education system. So, therefore, they're using mobile phones as babysitters. I ask, why don't you do something about it by chastising these kids or punishing these kids? They said, it doesn't work. And I said, well, why don't you take the phones off them? And they said, we can't. And I asked, why not? And they said, well, if we do and there's any damage to the phone, then we're liable for the phone. So I don't know what to do about it because everyone seems to be obsessed with this. I mean, at the moment, uh, we have young people that aren't, aren't, aren't uh, able to communicate with, it, with each other except for text messaging. You go to any fast food restaurant and you see two young people sitting opposite each other. They are not looking at each other. They are not enjoying a cup of tea or a coffee or a, or a hash brown. They are just simply texting. That's all they're doing. And that's all they want to do. They just want to get to uh, where there is a, a hot spot and they want to log on and they want to just look at each other and take selfies. I mean, it's just gone ballistic. At the moment, I, can't, I, I just can't deal with it in that I just know that the young people are, well, being um, destroyed. I think that every parent has a right to raise their children and the most important thing is education. Well besides a uh, roof over their head and food on the dinner table, they need an education because if you don't give them one, they'll just become nobodies. And social media and violent games where you get points for shooting people, uh, I just don't like it. I mean, you can call me a dinosaur if you like. Quite frankly, I don't care. But have we, have we got better? I mean, over the last 20 or 30 years, have we actually got better or have we got worse? Are our kids smarter or are our kids dumber? I don't know. <coughs> Back in my day, you know, at the age of 20 years of age, um, okay, well, I, yeah, that's right. At 20 years of age, I had a panel land. And you know what they, uh, what they do in panel vans? Yeah, exactly. That was our social activity. That was our, you know, internet. That was our FaceTime. That's exactly what it was. FaceTime was introduced in the panel van. And now you've got it on mobile phones. Now you've got it on the internet. Now you've got people taking photos of what they've had for dinner. You've got a photo of someone showing you what they had for dinner. And then you've got people liking it. It's just, it's just ridiculous. I mean, who wants to take a photo of your dinner and then sh show the world where you are and what you're doing and what you've had for dinner? It's all right if someone's explaining how to cook something or make something. I think that's, that's great. But when you actually want to take a photo of a particular meal to say, I am actually at this restaurant enjoying this, minute, this meal, look at me, look at me. <laughs> I mean, it just shows you that they are not enjoying themselves at the dinner and they're not enjoying themselves with the person that they are with. Because clearly, if you're having a great time with the person you're with, you wouldn't be taking a photo and sending it out to social media saying, look, I'm having this dinner with this imbecile, this, in, this, this half-wit, um, but I'd rather take the photo of my dinner and send it to you and hopefully you can give me some comments that'll make me feel better. Come on, what are we doing? We're just going the wrong way. That's all.